Now let us say frequency transmission in analog domain. Let us now focus on frequency transmission in analog domain. So what does it mean? Okay, so basically we can convert a low pass filter into another low pass filter. We can convert low pass into high pass, low pass into band pass, low pass into band reject. Okay, so for this, this kind of conversions, we need to create a prototype. Okay, so if H of S is the transfer function of a low pass filter, okay, then first what we have to do, we have to design a low pass normalized prototype. So what do you mean by low pass normalized prototype? Ohm P should be equal to 1 radian per second. If ohm P is the desired passband edge frequency of the new low pass filter, then the transfer function of the new low pass filter would be S is replaced with S by ohm P. Okay, so first you have to design a low pass prototype with the ohm P equals to 1 radian per second and after that wherever S is there, you have to replace S with S by ohm P. Now this ohm P would be your new ohm P as per the transformation. Now you can see this is the prototype frequency response and this is the transformed frequency response. Now similarly for low pass to high pass again you have to design a prototype filter having pass band frequency 1 radian per second. After that you have to go for the suitable transformation and once this transformation is done your S will be replaced by ohm P by S. Okay. For low pass to band pass transmission, your S will be replaced with S square plus omu omel divided by S into omu minus omel. Similarly, for low pass to band stop transmission, S will be replaced with S into omu minus omel divided by S square plus omu omel. Now, this is your prototype frequency response and this is the transformed frequency response and this is background design equation or backward design equation we can call it ok so I will do a numerical and then will be more clear about the transformation and we will do uh, more number of numericals so that you will understand how it is happening exactly ok so let me do a low pass to high pass conversion and a low pass to band pass conversion then we will do some numericals we will do some practice problems ok now let us focus on this problem a Butterworth filter, it's a low pass filter and it has the pass band gain AP equals to minus 1 dB at OP equals to 4 radian per second and stop band attenuation greater than or equal to 20 dB at OMS equals to 8 radian per second. Now, see, AP is 1 dB they have said, OP will be 4 radian per second, OMS is 8 radian per second, AS is 20 dB. So, you need to apply the formula for order. You can write log of 10 minus 0.1 into a so minus minus it will become plus okay so you calculate the order first so once order is found out so order is coming to be 4.2 so we'll approximate it to the next higher integer let n be 5 now you have to write sk equals to e power j 5 where k is varying from 0 to 5 so again you found out the poles using the appropriate formula so you found out phi naught, then S naught is e power j phi naught, you found out phi 1, S, S 1 is e power j phi 1, you found out phi 2, S 2 is e power j phi 2. Okay, so similar way you found out all the poles. Once you found out all the poles, so what is your H of S? H of S equals to 1 divided by S minus S naught, S minus S 1, S minus S 2, until S minus S 4. Okay, so then you put it there. Afterwards, you need to find out ohm C. So, you found out ohm C. Okay. So, HA of S is H5 of S. So, S is replaced by S by ohm C. Okay. So, now again, after finding it out. Okay. So, you replace S with S by ohm C according to your Butterworth filter design. Once you, re you did the replacement. Okay. Then, after this replacement is done. Okay. After this replacement is done, okay. after this replacement is done, what you have to do? You can verify your design also. Instead of S, you can put J O. If you put J O, okay, everywhere you put J O and solve it, and then if you take 20 log of H of J O at O is equal to 4, you will get 
again minus 1 degree that is the Pascal interval. Similarly, 20 log HA of J ohm at ohm is equal to 8 if you do, you should get minus 24 degree that is the Staubman admission. If you are getting these two values, that means instead of S, if you put J ohm and solve it, okay, and then instead of Ohm, pass band frequency you put instead of ohm, you put stop band frequency, so you should get AP as well as AS. If you are getting so, then your design is absolutely fine. This is one of the verification problems. You can verify your design by substituting S is equal to uh, J ohm.